Welcome again, and thanks for joining us for 21 Days of Prayer as we've been journeying through this idea of how to find rest through different seasons of our life. Have you ever lost sleep over how a conversation might go? Um, I'm one like that. I don't, I don't, in my past particularly, I don't, I didn't do conversation, confrontation well. And so for me, if I had a difficult conversation the next day, um, I wouldn't sleep well that night because I'd be so concerned about it. Um, but then I would have the conversation and afterwards I just felt this freedom because it was over. It was just kind of this joy and rest that came from just being done with it. And I think it was just kind of a relief that came from just getting it off my chest. Um, what's, what's cool though is we, we get to do that with God. Now with God, we don't have to fear. There's no reason to fear how the conversation's going to go, but that's what prayer does. Prayer gives us this outlet to use to, to, to release things to God. And, and sometimes it's fear, anxiety, it's worry. Uh, sometimes we just need to get some frustration off our chest, to be honest. But that's the beautiful thing about God is He invites us to just come in and have a conversation. And the cool thing is there, there's rest to be found just in the general concept of prayer of just getting those things off your chest through a conversation with God. In fact, Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says it like this. Paul writing says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. I love that. It's just an open scale. It's an open scope. He says, don't worry about anything. In fact, everything that you're worried about, everything that goes on in your life, just pray about it. He says, there's no restrictions on prayer. There's nothing you can or can't bring to God. He says, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand, for His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. There's, there's two things that Paul encourages us to do to combat worry through prayer. The first is simple. He just says, tell Him. He just says, tell Him. He says, tell God, what's going on? That's the honest openness that I love we can have with God. Just this full transparency that we can be completely open about what's going on. What fears do we have? What frustrations do we have? What questions do we have? We can just be open about it. It's a father coming to his children and saying, you can talk to me about anything. And it's a beautiful thing. He says, tell them. But then he says, thank them. This is a part that I think we honestly find rest in through prayer that we miss a lot of times. And it's just being able to pause and stop and look at what we have to be thankful for. Maybe it's just the reality that we can thank God that He's a God we can go talk to, which is such a cool thing to begin with. So we tell God what's going on. We thank Him for what He's done and what He has been doing. And, and through those two things, there's something that we're promised is that peace will come. He says, a peace that exceeds anything you would understand will come into your life. Today, I, I want to just encourage you, maybe that there, all you need to do today is just have a conversation. You may not even know what about. You may not have any idea really what it is that you need to take to God in prayer. But I do know that prayer is powerful. And I do believe it's something that a lot of us underuse, maybe because it's misunderstood. And today, I hope you can find some freedom in that reality that when Paul says we can pray about everything, we can pray about everything. There's nothing too great. There's nothing too small. Uh, there's no struggle or doubt too big that we should fear taking it to God. Those are things that we end up holding on to. And, and there's a freedom and a rest that comes from having that open conversation. It may be fearful for you at first, just like some of those difficult ones we have in life. But just like those, to a greater extent, when we get done having it and we know that God has heard us, there's a rest that sweeps over us that exceeds anything we've ever experienced. So today, I also want to encourage you to have a conversation, to just spend some time with God in prayer today. Just having an open dialogue about what's on your heart and then listen for what's on His. In fact, I want to pray for you and then I just want to encourage you to go spend some time with the Lord. Father, we thank you for what you do, and we thank you for who you are, that you are a God who invites the conversation in, that you are a God who issues the promises like that of just come talk to me about everything. 
pray about everything, worry about nothing, and you will bring a rest that exceeds our understanding. Father, I pray that today that people would take the moment to tell you what's going on and thank you for what you've been doing and what you have even yet to do in their life. And I know, Father, that through those things, rest will come into their lives. Father, we love you. We praise you. We thank you. Amen. I hope you enjoy spending some time in prayer this afternoon, and then we'll see you back tomorrow.